What's up guys, the Boulder Boulder here, and today I am going to be showing you guys another Hero Factory mock of mine. And this is my entry to the Lego Jang's game called the Battle of Kaidea. And this is a Northeastern Alliance High Priest. So, right now, I'll give you guys a quick 360 view of what this guy looks like. So there's a view of the back. It's um, pretty simple, actually. Not that many fancy techniques used or anything, simply because Lego Jang designed these kinds of things to be built easily and with parts you'll most likely have. Thankfully I had most of the parts to actually make these kinds of characters from the Battle of Kaidea. Here's a look at the basic look of a Alliance. They got different classes and everything, but I am going to be focusing on the High Priest, of course. <laughs> so here's a look at a High Priest. And then here's mine. Their designs are pretty similar, but I, of course, wanted to make it different because I don't want to make a complete copy of his and that's good and he actually recommends that we make mocks to go along with his series to be able to make your own classes even but I just decided to go along with the classes he made and I'm, now I'm gonna do the high priest this is actually my first battle for Kaidea mock that I've ever made. So quickly I'm gonna go over some of the basic things about a high priest. Um, they're all basically the same as a normal high priest. The equipment has two zero-point energy distributors slash emitters which are right up there. And armor, there are two value two armor plates right there and there and I've got three value four armor plates which would be right there there and there on Lego Jang's high priest he used three different torso parts on the body and the legs I just use a torso piece right there and two different actually four different armor pieces right there on his legs but I make them just a single piece of armor so now it's time to go into more detail about the figure itself um, like what Lego Jang did on the back I try to cover up using different armor pieces um, I don't necessarily count this in as armor that can be used for gameplay. It's mainly just for detail and makes it look more uh, complete. I got these spikes back here. And right up here on his shoulders are the energy emitters. And they actually arc electricity between the two tips. And that's what this cord is right here. It's because the Northeastern Alliance is more of an electric-themed alliance. And the High Priest has control over electricity and lightning. And powers like that. So... 
Now here's a little bit of a closer look at the body to see how that is. It used a little spike facing down. I'll get to the head last. Um, here's what the legs look like. They're very simple. Nothing too complex about this build at all. I'd say the most complex part would have to be these emitters or his head. But even then, that's <laughs> really not that complicated. And I just used Bionicle feet because they seem to fit in pretty well with this mock. And here's a closer look at the emitters. Simple build. And here is the head. And you may actually be wondering how you could fit a Krana on a Hero Factory armor piece. Well, it's quite simple, really. And LEGO Jing also has a post on how to do things like this. I'm going to have a link down in the description below on how to do that. So, now I will replace the Krana. It's a really simple build. <laughs> Just simply four pieces. So move that up. And connect that right on there. And there you go. That is how you can connect a Krana to an armor plate. And that is the basic shape of a head, kind of head, that will be used in the Battle for Kaidea series. I'm glad to actually be able to use my Krana for a mock. I wasn't sure what I could really use them for, what use I had for them other than simply collecting, since now they are getting pretty rare, at least as far as I know. And I really like the color of this one. And blue really is my favorite color. So that's partly why I made this guy blue. And it was a color Lego Jang hadn't used for any of his alliances. And I had to get a different color in there. So here is a look at a alliance that Lego Jang had made. So it's got a bunch of different classes and um, all that stuff. If you want to go into more detail about this stuff, I'm going to have links to that post on how to make that mask if you want to. Check it out. And also, if you want to see anything else about the Battle for Kaidea, just go to Lego Jang's blog. LegoJang.com, which is a shorter link to get there. And on the search bar there, just type in Battle for Kaidea, or simply Kaidea, and it should show up right on there. And you can see any information you would like to see. So, I suppose that is it. Thank you guys very much for watching and subscribing, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this mock. And I will probably be making more mocks to go along with this alliance. The Northeastern Alliance. So, please be sure to check out my Facebook and Blogspot pages. On Facebook, you'll see exclusive photos of this mock. And on Blogspot, you'll get to see posts about all of the mocks that I make. I'll go into a little bit more details about things that I may not have in the video. And I will also have up my stories there. So far, I have the Fall of the Hero Factory and the Good Trader. Both of them are all posted on there, and you can read the complete stories of both. So be sure to check those out. Well, I'll also have a link to the playlists for both of those down below if you want to check those out. So, I'm going to have a lot of links down there. Alright. 
So now, I will see you guys again in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.